found out too late. Big Head Todd and the Monsters. If you could just go ahead and introduce yourselves so you play in the band. I'm Rob, I'm the bass player. I'm Brian, I'm the drummer. So we're the rhythm section. The rhythm section. Best keeping part. Keeping the beats. You gotta keep them fresh. Yeah. Um, one of the big things I know about you guys is you've been in Denver, you've been in Colorado for just years now. You're sort of almost, you've got this legendary status amongst the local musicians in the scene. Um, what is your take on sort of the Denver scene over the last 20 years even? You know, what have you seen? What is uh, something that people can take away from that? Well, it seems really healthy right now just from the lineup of the uh, Mile High Music Festival, you know, with the brand lining in. That's great. Um, from all of your years of experience, what advice would you have for maybe an up and coming band right now? Yeah. The biggest thing is just write, practice, and get out and play as much as you possibly can. You know, get, get in front of people, and uh, hopefully there's a reaction there. Mm -hmm. If you're doing, doing good work, you know, people are going to respond to it. Yeah. And, uh, so just play as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and you know, everything's internet driven now, so they have a great website. Yeah. Well, you mentioned the internet stuff, and I saw recently um, you released your last album, All the Love You Need, and it's available for free if you want on your website. Um, could you talk maybe a little bit about the uh, what made you decide to do that? Yeah, we, but, oh yeah, we, um, when it came out to releasing that last record, uh, we kind of looked at it like a great opportunity to reestablish some relationships with the radio and kind of uh, say thank you to a lot of the old time fans. So the industry these days is less driven by record sales than it left afterwards. Download and, and uh, gave away a lot of it through the radio stations. Um, since we're a band that's always kind of made our living off of live shows, anyway, it's really, you know, let's be ahead of the curve and start giving away some money. Yes. I think we ended up giving away half a million copies just through radio stations and different sponsors and stuff like that. So it's a great way to just get a mass quantity of our new record in mm -hmm. people's hands. So it made sense to us. That's great. Um, what has been your favorite part of uh, just this experience that you've had? You know, obviously you've probably seen a lot of things, done a lot of things, but what to you stands out as something that you're really going to take away from this entire Big Head Todd huge experience? I, I don't want to bring it down to just like one thing, but you could you could be general with well, it. You can go wherever you want. Myself, I mean, being a music fan, just the fact that I've gotten to meet a lot of my heroes and play with them and travel with them. You know, I've always looked at what we do is icing on the cake, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing that we can make a little making music. Mm -hmm. We started as three buddies going to Columbia High School and James Winton, and, uh, and, you know, we're uh, still doing this 20 years later. It's a gift. Yeah, I'd echo the same thing, you know, just not having a day job and being able to play music for a living, travel the country, see, see great places, and get to play festivals like this where you, you can play with your, your Padres, and check out new music and stuff. It's, it's been a fun time. That's great. Well, that's all the time we have, so I want to say thank you to you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing you play this afternoon. Um, yeah, just thank you. Thank you.